This is probably one of my favorite meals to eat once fall time hits, and it's made in the slow cooker and super easy. Get a pound to two pound chuck roast. I'm gonna season mine with salt, pepper, and steak seasoning, but do whatever you like because I don't care, I'm not eating it. Make sure to season all sides well or to your liking. Some will say that this is too seasoned, some will say under seasoned, and I'm sorry, I didn't know you were eating it. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and sear the top and all sides of this meat. Again, some would say I should sear the sides longer. To be honest, you could skip this step. It just makes it a little bit more flavorful and I'm impatient. Next up, I added half an onion or you could do a medium onion and I'm gonna use jar garlic, but be free. I mean, be free. I don't know why that doesn't sound right. Be free to use whatever you want. And if you don't like garlic, keep scrolling. Set it on low for six to eight hours or high, about four or five hours until the meat comes out like this. You wanna put it on a plate so that you can shred it and make sure to put it back into its juices. The meats love the juices. It's gonna suck that right back up like your mom did the night you were made. Except add four teaspoons of better than bullshit beef bouillon. And yes, it has to be this. Do not use beef broth or the bouillon cubes. And if you do, don't invite me to eat at your house. Next up, add in about three teaspoons of wash your sister sauce. And you should whisk this together. I don't have a whisk. It went about as well as whisking with a popsicle stick. So I went ahead and grabbed a fork and finished it up. Then of course you're going to mix it, get it all incorporated and add your egg noodles. Now I used to buy the frozen ones. Okay. I used to, but you got to try these. Okay. Press the process. And if you have a tiny crock pot like mine, you're going to have to smush them in there. Use the whole bag. Don't be afraid. And you're going to cook it another hour so the noodles can cook fully through. Make sure to stir it a couple times so that every noodle gets cooked evenly. And then you're going to top it or rather put it on top of a bed of mashed potatoes. They must be homemade. You use the box or the bag if that's what you got. Also, I bought this candle today, not sponsored by Better Homes and Garden. It's so nice. It smells like pumpkin coming out of my ass.